Tonight. I'm not sober. What really caused Demi Lovato's downward spiral? Everyone goes through ups and downs. E.T. at Demi's home where drug paraphernalia was found, exclusive new details on her overdose and her road to a relapse. I didn't know it was that bad. Plus, Demi in her own words, how her struggles first began. My first time doing coke, I was working on Disney Channel. Then, how Roseanne is making headlines again. I can say... Anything I want to say. As the target of her tweet speaks out to... Life. And life. This is Entertainment Tonight. Welcome, everybody. Well, we have so much to tell you about troubled singer Jimmy Lovato. New developments, including what went wrong leading up to her drug overdose. Nichelle Turner is on the scene outside Demi's home in Los Angeles with the latest. Yeah, Kevin and Nancy, this is where Demi was found unconscious and rushed to Cedar sinai Hospital. Now, while her overdose did come as a shock, she has always been very open about her struggle with addiction. Sometimes I, I just look back and I'm just grateful to be alive. The most successful thing that I've done has been able to beat my addiction. I've had fans that come up to me and tell me, you know, because you got sober, I got sober. A source tells E.T. Demi's overdose was a wake-up call for the singer and that she's awake and with her family, and they want her to go straight to rehab. EMS 11, spot with engine 97 already on scene unconscious. The LAPD tells E.T. that drug paraphernalia was found at Demi's home, but it remains unclear who it belonged to and what type of drug or drugs Demi may have been doing before she overdosed. Better walk that walk, baby. The singer addressed rumors of a relapse head on with the surprise release of the song Sober last month. Cause I'm dying inside. But a source tells us that people close to Demi started to notice a shift in her personality months ago and could tell she wasn't behaving like the sober Demi they've known for six years. The important thing is that she gets back into recovery and she learns the mistakes that she made that led up to this relapse. I'll take the pain. Meanwhile, Demi's concert tomorrow night in Atlantic City has been canceled. And last night, Fox pulled this episode of Beat Shazam that featured her. It was taped back in December. All this as Demi's loved ones send support. Her ex, Joe Jonas, wrote, hashtag pray for Demi. And a source close to her ex, Wilmer Valderrama, tells E.T. that the actor is shattered by Demi's overdose. DJ Khaled and Megan Trainer, who have both performed with Demi, sent love at last night's taping of the season two finale of The Four. Demi, let's go put some more music out. But right now, it's about you getting some rest, taking care of yourself. It's heartbreaking for her, but also her whole team and her family and everyone around her. Now, for a little more insight into what Demi's been going through, our source tells us, quote, the more stressed out and more Demi was overworked, the more she wants to escape and do the drugs and not stay sober. But were there signs of trouble? Here's a timeline to Demi's relapse. July 22nd, Demi forgets the words to her song Sober. This was two days before her overdose. Demi was performing at a state fair in California. I forgot the words. <laughs> July 15th, 2.30 a.m., Demi leaves L.A. nightclub Warwick. One report claims the 25-year-old was bleary-eyed. I'm so sorry, I'm not sober anymore. June 21st, Demi confesses she's fallen off the wagon with a surprise release of Sober. The emotional ballad, which she has often performed since, fighting back tears, is a stark contrast to Demi's provocative onstage persona and the sexy images she displays on social media. For example, June 19th, Demi Post then deletes racy Instagrams of her touching tongues with one of her backup dancers. This is like a very in control, sexy. Yeah. We wanted to showcase all aspects of my self as an artist and, and also showing a sexy side, but also being vulnerable and open with the, with the audience. We're told Demi's downward spiral started sometime between April and May when she was on break from tour and about four months after she announced she was giving up dieting. She posted these shots which led to her getting body shamed, no doubt adding to the pressure she was struggling with behind closed doors. Oh, tell me you love me. As for what's next? It may be cleaning house. Our source says Demi's been hanging with people who support her drug habit. She needs a clean, safe place to heal, and that is the top priority. All right, yeah. 
You know, the word you keep hearing over and over is heartbreaking because this isn't the first wake-up call for Demi. Um, how did she get to this moment, and when did her battle with drugs and alcohol first begin? Also, her struggle with an eating disorder and the moment those struggles turn suicidal. That is all coming up. All right, but right now, it seems the wait is over. And hearing from Roseanne, eight weeks after Roseanne got fired and her show got canceled, she is sitting down for an in-depth interview. Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, Rosie. Has to. I know, but she said I mean, she's a your mean first teacher. Dance. But, I mean, they got to have a spectacular dance. And Cheryl, come on. All right. We'll still ahead right here. I had a good childhood, but there were things that definitely interrupted it. The shocking truth about Demi Lovato's demons is not only drugs, her eating disorder, self-mutilation, and thoughts of suicide. Plus... Our backstage exclusive with boy George, candid on his struggle with sobriety. Wow, you're totally different now. Then Murphy Brown stars back on Girl Hickey in an exclusive interview. I feel amazing. <laughs> yeah, I feel really good. I was nervous getting ready, and I was like, oh, I hope everything turns out right. That was the first time E.T. interviewed Demi Lovato at the Camp Rock premiere back in 2008. You know, she has never shied away from her struggles or demons, and these are issues that she has battled almost her entire career. My first time doing coke, I was 17, working on Disney Channel. I just wanted to fit in, okay? I was scared because my mom always told me that your heart could just burst if you do it. But I did it anyways, and... I loved it. It was 2008. Demi was starring alongside the Jonas Brothers in Disney's record-breaking movie musical. Camp Rock was one of three Disney Channel projects she'd taken on in her teens, but she got her start at age 10 on Barney and Friends with future BFF Selena Gomez. Is the band here? Not yet. Getting to work with the iconic Barney, the dinosaur, <laughs> was pretty cool. But amidst the fun, Demi had been dealing with years of bullying. At age seven, she was suicidal. Bullying was a really sensitive subject to me, and um, it's something that I went through. By age nine, Lovato had developed an eating disorder. I was scared, and I was looking up to these girls that were very, very thin. And there was nobody really that really set a positive example to say, hey, you know what, it's okay to have a healthy body and to look normal and have curves. Don't forget. At age 16, Demi released her first album, followed 10 months later by a second, and went on her first national tour. Around this time, she started using drugs to self-medicate. But substance abuse and an eating disorder weren't the teen's only struggles. Demi battled bipolar disorder and would even harm herself. Whenever you're trying to battle your demons, you have to admit that you have a problem first, and then you can overcome them. At age 18, Demi entered rehab for the first time. We talked to Demi last year at five years sober. I'm able to look at what I've done, and, and I do kind of like sit there and think, wow, I'm so glad that I got sober and I'm able to help people. You know, like all addicts, this is a battle that she'll have to fight every single day for the rest of her life. Um, almost like another pop star, George O'Dowd. Or Boy George, as Boy we George, most yes, call him. Boy George, yes, of course. Yes. Um, he's had his own share of struggles. Yes, he has. And